But with the rain coming, a lot of you parents out there may be making indoor trick-or-treating plans. Yeah, not everyone agrees, though. Brent Weisberg found some diehards who say the weather not going to stop them or their kids. Halloween 2015 looks to be a real mess weather-wise, and for a lot of families, some tough decisions are going to have to be made. Kids want to trick-or-treat. They want to fill that basket. Richard Curran tells me that his family has a kid who's now at the age where this could be his first Halloween, but the weather may nix that. The forecast is calling for some wind and moderate rain. I think little kids don't really have a tolerance to that. He says that his family is looking for a backup plan. Back home where I'm from, Bend, Oregon, we, we got like a all that you can walk through and trick or treat at all the, uh, the stores or the shops. Today we searched the internet and found some of the malls that are offering indoor trick or treating. Here's a graphic for you to jot down some of that information. Of course, it's best to call around and confirm with the mall in your area before going, since not all are offering trick or treating events and some have special rules. We also have some Halloween events happening tomorrow that are family friendly and again it's important to call ahead and confirm and remember that there are other events happening. This isn't an all inclusive list. Hopefully it won't be that bad. Sandy Van Delden says it's got to be a real bad storm before she calls off outdoor trick or treating. I think it's unconscionable. Kids like the rain. It's fun. That makes Halloween Halloween. You just go and do it. But no matter your decision whether or not you're going to be driving to an indoor trick-or-treating spot or trick-or-treating in the rain, it's important that everyone remain safe. On Halloween and on all days of the year, people have to be really especially careful. There's going to be kids on the street. They are supposed to have lights, but all drivers, all motorists, all bicyclists need to be especially careful out there looking for trick-or-treaters on the street. Reporting in Portland today, I'm Brent Weisberg, Coin 6 News. All right.